Hi, thank you for watch watching. I would like to uh, to give some sense to what uh, meditation in its most natural form um, can be experienced as, and um, I would like to call it natural meditation um, because it's uh, our natural ability to simply sink into the to the presence that we are or sink into the into the body and into everything that is going on within the body and within the mind and uh, sink into the background of where we are experiencing from, seeing from, sensing from. And this uh, depth of being is, uh, is basically what essential meditation is all, is all about. And uh, it's, it's an innate um, ability that we are born with. Um, so, <clears throat> In some sense, uh, meditation techniques often can be more a disturbance than a help because it often gives us something to be occupied with, something to do, and uh, takes away the possibility of really letting go and sinking in and uh, that can even for many be a, a subtle fear of, uh, of just letting go uh, because we have these, all these ideas about what meditation should be. Um, and, uh, but my uh, experience um, having meditated for about 30 years uh, having done many techniques, I find that um, to keep an eye on the most basic things is is essential. Then techniques can be supplements now and then, but um, the the basic essential meditation is to really just be and rest with yourself and allow everything to be going on. Um, and that can be the simple instruction, uh, if you would like one, to simply sit down and and um, relax with yourself. Um, because when we when we take the pressure away and uh, let all ideas about meditation being in any spe uh, specific way then a uh, opportunity really opens to sing sing in to the um, to the deeper sense of ourself um, the buzzing silence of us the buzzing silence of existence it can be sometimes experienced as and um and don't worry if many thoughts appear, if you fall asleep a lot, you wake up, when you wake up, uh, you, can have a, you can have a carrier wish that you would like to wake up when it's possible. Um, but besides that, just let go and rest with whatever happens. Because that opens the possibility to sink deeper into our body and into our psyche. Um, and uh, there is many depths to, to meet on our journey into the, our natural basic state of being, uh, which is uh, the deepest silence uh, where we are deeply in our aloneness but connected with everything else around us. Um, but on that journey in, of course, we will meet um uh, many things in our body and psyche on that journey into the essence 
of who we are on the deepest level. Um, and that can be um, body sensations, strong body sensations and emotions, all the way back from mm, the womb of our mothers, actually. If they have had strong feelings and and uh, it has been too unbearable for us in that tiny state to be in that such feelings well then there is survival mechanisms in our system from evolution to our time of evolution that closes down that those parts in us and uh, that means that uh, we we actually are closing down parts of ourselves that we lose contact with and it goes into the unconscious and also it can be yeah, it can be for the time of womb, it can be from birth, uh, doing birth, death fear during birth, it can be from uh, when we, are, we were infants, didn't get enough co contact or food enough, or it can be uh, later on, of course, also from childhood, uh, having been treated in unsensible ways or whatever. Um, and all these layers of emotions and sensations uh, pain, fear, despair, grief, um, uh, meaninglessness, um, uh, that can be places that we, that we meet, but as deeper we learn to relax, uh, and sink, sink into ourself, um, we get, um, a deeper and deeper uh, background to kind of rest back into even if strong things are happening um, <clears throat> and that of course is going to be uh, a helpful st stabilizer for us also in when we need to meet challenges uh, in our life um, but these parts that are closed down uh, need some silent sensing into uh, which we often are being pulled the other way of our mind our thinking uh, human mind has a tendency to pull us out and are very eager to stimulate itself also uh, with with stimulation and so it can be a challenge even just to to make this space to to, to sit down and take this contact now and then uh, now and then um, best several times during a day um, and um, and as we do that mm, the grip of the of the rib of the reptile brain has a possibility of of letting more and more go so we can come in contact with these small small parts of ourselves that we have lost contact with and regain this deeper access to being in existence uh, uh, regaining our sensitivity again on levels that we have lost uh, because uh, we are kind of living in a in a world where there is a, a epidemic of trauma mm, in, in big or smaller ways. Uh, I mean, many of us live an okay life with those, but if we never get in contact with them, well, then there is parts of us that we will never uh, learn to know um, uh, so the so the journey into a deeper connection with our being is simply to go with our natural um, natural ability to sink into our depth uh, by resting with ourselves in moments and it sounds so simple and it is the 
big, biggest challenge is to do it and to meet what we need to meet in order to to take that journey inwards. Um, and the thing is that with this survi uh, this reptile survival um, brain that we have um, that closes down these places in us, when the when these places in us closes down, um, uh, we kind of lose touch with our natural relaxed will, and a survival will takes over. So, in a way, we are running too much on our survival will without, in a way, really needing it because we are long past that situation where we are struggling for food and shelter, at least in this part of the world. But even though having undigested uh, traumas in our system gives unnecessary struggle uh, in our life, so uh, to gain access to it, and to learn to be and rest and take care of it, it can start to relax and the depth of our being can start to be uh, our home again in a deeper, uh, more peaceful and relaxed way, which is a, a valuable anchor to live one's life from. And it also brings about healthier values to develop our society from so that's just benefits from that um i wrote a few notes to see if that's something i i uh, i missed out um That's pretty much it. My background is that, uh, <clears throat> yeah, as I said, I've been meditating for 30 years and I've done lots of uh, therapeutic and uh, self-development groups and have a couple of of therapist educations. And I spent, uh, one time I spent six months alone in the Canadian wilderness where I got a deep dive into the silence of myself and of existence which uh, gave me see how my whole psyche uh, in a way seeing from the depths of silence how my whole psyche uh, looks uh, and also seeing how this world we are living in is one big buzzing field of energy um, uh it's not uh, something that i'm in touch with all the time but it's something i can tune into when i sit down and relax um so basically i just would like to invite for relaxation into ourself without making it uh, complicated with calling it a lot of complicated names or techniques, uh, but simply just uh, know that we have this direct access in ourselves that we are born with, and we don't need, uh, uh, in a way, yeah, we don't need anything else just that so I made um, I made a Facebook group um, called uh, soul oasis forum where we can uh, where we can meet and share about natural meditation and also um, those kind of therapy that is really giving a deeper understanding uh, of what is going on on the unconscious level so that we are able to Sink all the way into our into our being and live in a, a deeper connected way and 
to silence. Um, yeah, and uh, the f I will write down the basics of what I said here uh, and put put it in text form under the week. So I hope it it had a a value for you to maybe apply it in your daily life somehow to to just sink in to the silent silent depths that we are to experience everything from so thank you